Are you ready to explore a desert oasis near Phoenix, Arizona? The Butcher Jones Trail is a stunning out and back route packed with breathtaking views, desert wildlife, crystal clear waters, and spectacular sunrise and sunsets. Whether you're looking for an easy adventure or just want to escape the city, this trail has something for you. Let's hit the trail. Butcher Jones Trail is located at Sorora Lake, which is a reservoir within the Salt River Chain of Lakes. It's about 40 miles northeast of Phoenix, Arizona in the Tonto National Forest. Butcher Jones Recreation Area has a large parking area, picnic tables, bathrooms, a beach, and places to camp. The main trail is an easy to moderate five mile out and back hike which makes it suitable for most hikers, including families and beginners. The hike will take anywhere from one and a half to three hours to complete, depending on your pace and stops for views and pictures. The best time to hike the Butcher Jones Trail is during the cooler months, October through April. If you hike during the summer months, make sure you get an early start and bring plenty of water. Hiking Butcher Jones Trail at Sorora Lake is a wonderful way to experience Arizona's desert beauty up close. The serenity of the desert makes this trail a must visit for anyone exploring the Phoenix area. We're at Sorora Lake at Butcher Jones Cove and we are off to do the Butcher Jones Trail, Trail 463. We're getting an early start here at Sorora Lake. It's gonna be a great day. We are now at about a mile into the hike and uh, once you get about a mile into it, stop and take uh, in the views. So in the backdrop right here, that's Butcher Jones Cove. That's where we started from right there. And then in the distance over here, uh, that is Saguaro Lake Marina. The boat ramps are all over there. There's a ton of activity. You've got paddle boarders. You got the boats out, uh, water skiing. You got fishermen down there. So a lot of activity, a lot going on here at Saguaro Lake. We are now at about 1.8 miles into the hike and there's a crucial turn here. For the most part, it's really easy to navigate, but you wanna make sure you stay left on Butcher Jones Trail 463. If you go right, that is Camper's Cove. We might do that on the way back, uh, but there's a few little out and back fingers you can do, but stay left at about 1.8 miles. Butcher Jones Trail 463, here we go. This cactus probably went down by a lightning strike. It happens, they're big and they go down hard. Right into the trail. We are now at about 2.2 miles into the hike. We're almost to the other side of the big opening of Saguaro Lake and it's kind of a little Y here. You've got a couple different options. You've got Burrow Cove to the left and then you got shoreline access to the right and we're gonna go Burrow Cove to the left. It's a quarter of a mile. So again, uh, the out and back is 2.5 miles. So the math adds up. We got about another quarter mile to go. And when we come back, we might go do this little finger as well. But uh, you've got two different options right here. We're going left. Come on. Another cactus on the trail. A lot of these cactuses get struck by lightning. And then they just crash. But look at that view. Boaters are out today. Well, we made it to the other section of Saguaro Lake. So from the main channel by the boat ramp and Butcher Jones, there's a little cove that comes through and then it opens up into this area, which is a, a popular little section for the water skiers, the, the wake surfers, and also the anglers. I do a lot of fishing. We were kind of bummed this morning because it is a bluebird day. And uh, we were hoping for a little bit of cloud cover and uh, overcast because when it is, it makes for some epic photos. Uh, but unfortunately, it's a clear day, which is, which is still a good day. Uh, but check out this view. So you'll know when you get here, uh, you'll see the other side of the lake where it opens up. We just got done with the Burrow Cove, quarter mile out that way to see Sorora Lake. Now we're gonna to go to the shoreline access down a quarter mile this way. So come join us.
Well, we made it to the end of the shoreline access and it takes us right to the shoreline. And if I had to choose between the Burrow Cove and the shoreline access, I'd, I'd take the shoreline access for sure. It's beautiful down here. Look at the views. There's a section at the beginning and towards the end that's kind of cool. It's overgrown, super shady. It's in like the first cove where you gotta kind of duck to get through, but it's all mesquite infested and uh, shady. It's kind of cool. And it's a lot cooler in here too. And it's right at the end of the cove and you can feel kind of a cool breeze, uh, but it's cool. We are done and what a beautiful hike that was. It's one to put on your must do list. It was really spectacular. It took us about an hour and 45 minutes. It was five and a half miles. We started this morning at 6 a.m. It was nice and cool. There was very, very little people, very few people in the parking lot and the, on the beach. Now it's crowded as could be. So it was just spectacular morning. But a couple things to consider. Number one, if you're going to do it during a, a weekend, which we're doing it right now in the summer months, get here early because uh, this place gets packed, as you can see, plus you want to avoid the heat. So if you want to do it when there's less people and easier parking, uh, you probably want to do it during the weekday if you can do it. And then the other thing is it requires a parking uh, fee to get in. And uh, we've got an annual pass to get into all the Tonto Lakes. Uh, and so if you're going to do this regularly, you can get an annual pass. If not, just be prepared for a parking fee. It's like a self self serve uh, parking to get in. So make sure you do that uh, to avoid a ticket. Uh, but now we're off to pump up the paddle boards and you can hear the paddle board pumps in the background. Uh, but we're going to get our paddle boards out and cool off and go for a paddle board. Let's do it. a mile out of Butcher Jones Cove and the nice thing about Butcher Jones Cove it's uh, no boats are allowed and then there's another section that it's a no wake section and then once you get out of that then you're in the main channel and we're about a mile uh, on the uh, on the east side of Butcher Jones and then there's a couple different finger coves that you can go explore uh, we're kind of tucked away out of the wake and out of the wind we're in another big section that's a no wake zone uh, which is a great paddle boarding area, but you can go for miles and miles. You will never run out of room and uh, The scenery is absolutely a beautiful. There's a ton of ducks and uh, uh, Just wildlife and right behind us is the Butcher Jones trail that we actually hiked on so the, the hike is kind of right behind us That's where we were earlier this morning hiking away uh, but doing that hike, I'm glad we did it because we've done we've been on the water a lot, but never really knew where that trail was. And now, now that we know where it is, you can kind of see and we've seen hikers uh, heads kind of bouncing around up on the trail. Uh, but if you get get a chance coming to Sorrel Lake, whether you're an angler, water skier, boater, paddleboarder, kayaker, hiker, there's just a ton of things to do. How's the water, Tyler? Oh, it feels good. It's like in the it's probably 82 degrees. Perfect. Nice and cool. Enjoy it while we can because uh, another month or so you'll be paddleboarding but you won't be swimming. Unless you're brave. Brave soul. We're on Sorrel Lake and Sorrel Lake got its name because of all the beautiful Sorrel cactus that just surround the area and this lake it's just beautiful and there's T right up there I just thought I'd take a little break listen to the water look at those beautiful sororos can't have a better day